And I know that was a lot of announcements. As an organization, we are continuing to move forward. And it's a very exciting time to see this work moving forward. It has been a blessing and a privilege to be a part of this work. And as I end the announcements portion, I just want to take a moment to thank all those that helped make this conference possible and all those in and out of the fellowship that has worked, that have worked with us to do the heavy lifting to help unite Christ's people here upon the earth, to help bring about Zion, and to help the continued organization of this fellowship of Christ. It's not something that any of us can do alone. And the final announcement that I would like to go over with you is the temple. Those that are familiar with the temple are aware that the Lord has been asking us to build a temple since the time of Joseph Smith. There are so many revelations and doctrines of the saints. I can't even read all of them to you. It would take too long. The Lord says, build a temple, build a house of God. And as saints of the fellowship, we have created in our homes temple spaces, maybe even temple rooms that we use for family and personal services and to bring others in from the community to hold services. And this has been a real blessing. I could bear a very lengthy testimony about all the blessings I've had since having a temple of the Lord in my home, the protections that it offers us, the opportunities for home service, home sacrament, home worship, the endowment ceremonies that we've done over Zoom with fellow saints all over the world. But the Lord knows that this is great for the small movement we are now. But as we grow, we need temples. And beyond that, our temples are unique in that they're not for the Church of Jesus Christ and Christian Fellowship. When we build our temples, they will be for all Latter-day Saints. They will be a place of unity, a house of worship. And they will also be a place to feed the hungry. One last revelation that I received that I would like to go over with you today is section 124 of Doctrines of the Saints. Now, it's a rather lengthy revelation, so I'm not going to read it to you. But I want you to be aware of its existence. And I want you to take the time to read it on your own. We went to the Lord asking about building a tabernacle because we don't have the financial resources at this time to buy a land and build a temple. The Lord granted our request, said he is pleased with it, and would like for us to start collecting funds for a traveling tabernacle and also to purchase land so that we can place a tabernacle there until we get the funds we need to actually build a temple of the Lord. And he gave us instructions as to what this temple should look like. One of the things that I would like to mention, I feel impressed by the Spirit to mention, is that in this temple there is a Holy of Holies, and outside the Holy, which will be open to all, adjacent to the Holy of Holies is another area called the holy place that the Lord has asked us to place certain things that represent the teachings of the temple and that represent our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. In verse 18 of this revelation it says, At the north part of this room ye shall place a table that shall house my showbread in remembrance of my Shekinah, and it shall be kept fresh at all times that my congregation shall be nourished. And behold, if any shall come in, in want of bread, this thou shalt give unto them to eat. Therefore thou shalt keep food aplenty, that all may be edified in my name. I want you to be aware that 
as we move forward in this temple project, the temple the Lord is asking us to build is not a temple of exclusion, but a temple of inclusion. It's not a temple to feed only the spiritually homeless, but also to feed us physically as well, those that are in need of food. I am going to ask at this time that if you can, please go to the website cjccf.org and up in the menu, there is a new button that says temple. Please click on that. There'll be instructions on how you can give to help build the tabernacle and the temple of the Lord. And it doesn't matter what denomination you belong to. Because this temple isn't just for the Church of Jesus Christ and Christian Fellowship. And in fact, I would say that it's not for the Church of Jesus Christ and Christian Fellowship. It is for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, the movement. It is for Christianity, the movement, the religion. It is for Judaism, the people. It's for all of Israel. So please, don't give thinking that you are giving to a denomination or a church. You're giving to the Lord so that we can build a temple in the name of Christ for all of God's people, for all of the seed of Abraham. And just as a reminder, all funds that we receive, 10% of these, we give to charities outside of our movement. So whatever it is we need to raise, we always have to raise more than that because the Lord has asked us to not only bless the Latter-day Saints, but to bless the world, the creation. We are currently looking into how much all of this should cost to get an estimate to try to determine exactly how much we need to raise. In the meantime, while we're figuring that out, please don't wait because we'd like to move forward as quickly as possible.